Well, students at Susan B. Anthony in Sioux Falls are celebrating the important woman that their school is named after. And that's because Anthony's 200th birthday would be tomorrow. She's known for many impactful movements, movements including women's right to vote. Kelly Lands Matt Holson shows you why she's a major part of history. Attorney Ashley Brost jumped at the chance to champion Susan B. Anthony today. Even though she was born 200 years ago, she still makes an impact today on people like me and women. Brost and other speakers, including Judge Karen Schreier, the first woman to serve as a U.S. District Court judge in South Dakota, are educating students on what Anthony's work means to them, especially when it comes to a woman's right to vote and women in leadership roles. I think it's really important, especially for a young girls and young females to realize that you can do whatever you want to do. You can be whoever you want to be. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. You know, just work hard and do what you need to do and you can get there. Second grader Barrett Paulson says Anthony was special. Because she voted when she wasn't supposed to and that made it change that women can vote now. Dean of Students Derek Mawson says interrupting Valentine's parties today for this important message was a no-brainer. We had a PTO parent that kind of helped us organize this, reach out to a lot of contacts, and we were just blown away by the people that wanted to come in, tell her story, tell how she impacted their life and the things she accomplished, how it kind of paved the way for their success and their future. And while Bross says there are still challenges for women today, she thinks they're becoming less and less. Yeah, especially the Sioux Falls community and the South Dakota community. I mean, people don't care if you're male or female. They just want the best person for the job. In Sioux Falls, Matt Holson, Kettleland News. Well, this year is also the 100th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment.